We got a motorcycle retro tail bag, and I'm pretty sure my voice is going. So we're gonna do this video quickly. Give you a quick look at this bag from American Legend Rider, and uh, give you a link to see where you can get it. And that's coming right up. All right, my friends, so the bag here is again from American Legend Rider, and this is this is it right here. It's a nice, nice little retro tail bag. I actually really like this. Now, a few things to be aware of, and I have the website up here. This is the bike I think it would look best on, right? A nice old retro style bike. Come on, that's, that's looking pretty slick for sure. But here's the size so you guys get an idea. So you got 36 down this way. My guess is 24 across this way and 18 centimeters from bottom to top. So that gives you, without you guys necessarily seeing it in front of you, gives you an idea of how big this thing is. Pretty cool. Just going through some of the photos here real quick. You guys can get a look if you haven't seen the site. This is a big one too, be aware. So can it fit a helmet? So yeah, a half helmet. That's probably it. You're not gonna fit a three quarter. You're not gonna, definitely not gonna fit a full face in here. But for those that are riding minimalist, minimum minimalist, don't like the big helmets, you know, you're on a cruiser, you're on a retro style, you gotta, you gotta look the part, then you can fit this helmet in here when you're done, which is which is kind of cool. The other thing, which is also really nice, and I'll flip over here a few screens, you know, it should, and I'm guessing it's in here, because I haven't even opened this up, is in here is like a shoulder strap, which is awesome, because I was hoping that they would have that, because I'm like, you should be able to carry this either way, which, which is very cool. All right, so let's take a look at this real fast. Primarily, if you look at it, we have a nice zippered pocket up here, which is awesome. This is a great place for you guys to put, you know, your sunglasses or your wallet or passport or whatever you need quick access, you can fire it in there. Side cases as well, so same kind of idea. We get side case here, here. Hopefully you guys can see that, I'll pop that up a little bit. Nice little side case there. And that's on both sides. So zipper seems good quality. It opens and closes really nice. Yeah, as you can see that here, I'll just tilt that for you guys, right? There it is. It's as nice as a pocket can be, I'm guessing. What more do you want out of a pocket? But you get two of them, so that's cool. Put your road map in there or whatever. I don't even know what you could fit in there. You could fit your cell phone. You could fit some things that you have on you, I guess, when you're not riding. Socks. Glo extra gloves there you go extra gloves fit extra gloves in there because i always carry extra gloves i get caught in the rain or it gets hot and i want to change my gloves always carry two pairs of gloves with you thick pair thin pair good to go now of course you have this which is your main pocket which two zippers kind of comes up it's got velcro on the back side it's got a velcro piece up here now, i was never really sure oh it is i see this is like a another storage area in here like what is that velcro for storage area i should really just look at this before i did the video <laughs> anyway little storage area here so you could put like now this is a thin one so like a maps if you have maps it's still good to carry maps right maps or you need to have your bike information or again like your passport now i'd watch with a passport because if that gets in here you know you really gotta squish your hand in to get it down it would work but just kind of be aware of that one but that's kind of a cool one in that side here as you can tell i haven't opened it you get this nice little keep this thing nice and big bubble thing that's nice it's like a free pillow yeah free pillow air pillow so inside here a couple things which are necessities this is where you can put that half helmet without question Inside here, hopefully you guys can see that, inside here, you get another little zippered pocket, which you could put more stuff. So again, it's not, it's not super big, but some small stuff in there, some pens. Pens is a good one to bring with you too, because I'm always getting somewhere and I need a pen. So pens and important documents, because it's inside the bag, right? Somebody have to open this to get it. But you also get, this is where you get your shoulder strap, right here shoulder strap which is nice and you get your bungee cable so this is what's going to latch it onto your bike now these are nice because these aren't metal these are nice rubber so i wouldn't think that these would 
have any kind of scratching or anything like that that you would get with like a, a metal clip. So that's kind of nice. These are just, as you can tell by actually this picture here, right? They have the cables going through and latched on to the fender of this bike. But it could be to your rear seat or it could be if you actually have a luggage rack. That's very useful as well. Plenty of space in here. You also get this. So this is a rain cover for it. Nice thing is it lays nice and flat on the bottom. So when you're not needing it, it just kind of sits there in the bottom and you're, and you're golden. So that's, that's super cool too. Nice seal. I also like this and it's something simple, but this is like a mesh, right? It's a mesh right here, which should actually help get some airflow into the bag. So that a bag that's carrying your old gloves or whatever you decide to put in here doesn't end up getting overly gungy smelling. Is that the word I'm looking for? Gungy? You know, you're like, mm, old sweaty gloves in there. That's unfortunate. Uh, other than that, you know, if you look at the bottom, this is where it's going to mount on. So this is your little clips. So you get two of them on both sides. That's going to latch around either your fender or again, your rear seat or however you want to mount it. But it's a good size bag, you know, for someone that needs not a full trunk on the back. You know, you're not needing a 40 or 50 liter trunk. You want someone to put your helmet. You want to go for a little day trip so that you have that ability to just carry another an extra pair of jeans or an extra t-shirt. Some undies might be important, but you're just going overnighter. This is a good bag. Good bag for that. And stylish. Looks good. Um, these come in on, on American Legend Riders website right now at about $150 for this. 72 reviews, giving it five stars. That's good. That's a lot of reviews. That's it, guys. I'm going to leave a link down below if you guys are interested to this. It says save $350. Uh, I've seen this price at $149, just so you guys know. Uh, it's there quite often. That's the price I'd be looking at. It looks like a good price. And I think for this bag, that is a good price. You know, it's nice, well constructed. I think this would last a long time. Zippers seem good. Be aware, rainproofing, it is not when it is in this state. It needs that rain cover put on it. But this is going to look really stylish when it's nice out, which is when 90% of us are riding, right? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. This is the motorcycle retro tail bag and over the shoulder bag and just kind of walking around bag from American Legend Rider. Link down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Do all the good stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, my friends. Have a good one. Later.